And the High Court in Milimani has declined an application by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions to withdraw a 30 million shillings corruption case against former Kenya Pipeline Managing Director Charles Kiprotich Tanui and his co-accused. And as Serfina Chiang Oma now reports, the decision by the court comes amidst growing concern over what the court describes as carefully choreographed prosecution-led acquittals. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions has suffered yet another blow after the court declined its application to drop the case against former Kenya Pipeline Company Managing Director Charles Kiprotich Tanui and his co-accused Elias Maina Karumi, who served as the company's chief technical manager, and Josphat Kipkoech Sirma, the former chief engineer. In 2020, the three were charged for failing to comply with procurement laws by authorizing payment of 261 and 70 euros, which was an equivalent of 31.9 million shillings to Redline Limited to supply auto transformers on February 18, 2014, without a written and signed contract. The prosecution had filed an application dated 9th February 2024, seeking orders to withdraw the case against the three accused persons. The ODPP argued that Tanui and Karumi authorized the payment for the tender in question after confirming that all the documentation was in order and that no public monies have been lost since monies paid to Redline Limited for the work not done had been refunded. At the time of filing the application, the ODPP had presented 25 witnesses to testify in the case before changing tune and declining to lead the last witness to the stand. Trial Magistrate Victor Wakomile ordered that the case proceeds to its logical conclusion and set the 21st of February 2024 as the hearing date when the remaining witness, the ESCC investigating officer, will testify. This serving as yet another blow to the DPP, who in June 2023 filed an application to withdraw the charges against Josphat Kipko H. Sirma, which was dismissed by trial magistrate Uakumile. On 15th August 2023, Josphat Sirma went to the High Court seeking a revision of the magistrate's refusal. This application too was dismissed by Justice Nixon Sifuna on 31st of January 2024. Prosecution had argued that upon evaluating the evidence against Sirma, they found it weak. Justice Sifuna held that the DPP cannot just suddenly disown his decision to charge because criminal charges should be preceded by investigations and informed by the findings. This comes against the backdrop of growing complaints against the ODPP, which has in the past been accused of employing such tactics to secure acquittals. Barely a week ago, on the 7th of February 2024, former Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvisonko and 16 others were acquitted in the 357 million shillings corruption case of a lack of evidence. Magistrate Eunice Nutu, however, accused the prosecution of bungling the case after calling only six witnesses and not the 38 that they had indicated will testify against the accused. A few days later, the magistrate's court acquitted businessman Yagnesh Divani and four others who had been charged with conspiring to defraud Kenya Commercial Bank 1.9 billion shillings through Triton Petroleum Company. Milimani magistrate Zainab Abdul said the prosecution failed to prove the fraud claims leveled against Yagnesh and his co-accused. On 14th December 2023, the former National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich and eight other co-accused persons were acquitted in the 63 billion shillings Aurora and Kimware graft case for, again, lack of evidence. Only eight out of 49 witnesses testified in delivering her ruling. Magistrate Eunice Newton told of the prosecution what she described as a carefully choreographed prosecution acquittal. I find that there is need to check the unfortunate and reckless habit of the ODPP commencing proceedings which they have no intention of pursuing to its logical conclusion. Such conduct is an affront to the administration of justice 
and a waste of precious judicial time. It is an insult to the dignity of the court and all the stakeholders involved in the criminal justice system. The DPP has been accused of handling high-profile cases casually and deliberately entertaining a culture of poor prosecution to absolve suspects with political connection and financial muscle. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.